your boy Moe's Hawk here. So I went clubbing in the snow. I did that. I never thought I'd be going out to a club uh, while it was snowing outside. It was a brand fresh ass new experience for me. Uh, where I am from uh, in Virginia on the East Coast right next to the good old Atlantic Ocean. Uh, it don't really snow there. So, um, and you know, it's never really that cold. So uh, you never really have to make the choice of should you go clubbing while it's snowing. It's, uh, it's kind of a new thing for me. I've never, uh, never been clubbing in the snow. I mean, of course, it was, you know, just like every other club. It was hot as hell in the club. But you know what? It was, uh, it was nice. I had a good little, uh, good little fun time hanging out and chilling with my boys. So uh, that's always good, man. It's always good to find uh, find some stuff. And there was no stupidity while I was going out. So, I mean, you can always, uh, everybody can always appreciate a night out with no stupidity and a whole bunch of enjoyment. Uh, yeah. So, I think, uh, I think I'll uh, probably go out a little bit more in uh, here in the, uh, in the city of Denver. Uh, if it proceeds to be, uh, proceeds to be that fun. So, um, I have a question that I want to put to every uh, beautiful woman that is, uh, you know, that goes out with her friends. Um, do y'all know uh, that resting bitch face is real? Like, I mean, I understand. Uh, I understand a condition uh, known as uh, RBF or resting bitch face. And... Um, you know, some women just have it, and I understand they have it, but do y'all know y'all have it? And I mean, it's always the prettiest girls that have resting bitch face. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like y'all trying to scare us the hell off. Like, good God. Come on now. Y'all can't be doing that to us. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You want to buy a nice young lady a drink, and you can't do such things because you think she mad at the world. You don't want to get your head bit off. Oh, Lord. I mean, I'm just saying. Come on, ladies, give a brother a shot. You know what I mean? Just let us know that you're not pissed off. I mean, women, if y'all are going to walk around with resting bitch face, um, please do us uh, as men a favor and um, tell us that uh, this is just resting bitch face and you don't want to be left the hell alone. Because, uh, you know, that could be a tough nut to crack. You know what I'm saying? As men, typically, we know we got about a um, 8 out of 10 chance of getting shot the hell down for any reason we don't know what it is but god knows we keep trying so i mean if y'all could just help us out it would be a lot nicer i'm just saying uh anyway so uh yeah drink prices and pre-gaming i have to hit on that too because while i'm talking about going out um the drink prices out here um they're a little bit i guess different um than what i'm used to so uh, I actually used to live in Morgantown, West Virginia, which is a college town. So, uh, you know, they had like some crazy ass deals, especially like on Thursdays, man. Like, you know, Thirsty Thursdays, you drop a five dollar cover and you drink from 10 to 12 for free. That place was amazingly awesome in West Virginia. It was a awesome place. I loved it. Um, you know. I wish they had a place like that around here. I don't think I'm going to find that in the uh, Denver region. God knows I'm going to look for it. But that's probably just the uh, props of living in a college town like Morgantown, West Virginia. But, uh, yeah, man, look. I had gotten really normal to the idea of uh, pre-gaming before I go out and just taking a taxi or getting a designated driver. I didn't have that luxury this time because I was driving, so therefore I got, you know, like one drink when I got to the club. And when I got that one drink, uh, you know, actually I got two. Uh, my buddy, he uh, hooked me up with the cover, and then I said, all right, I'll get the first round of drinks. I ain't had no cash on me. Yo, when I got that bill back for those two drinks, I immediately, I immediately looked and I said, well, uh, well, fuck. Um, that's, uh, that's a lot of damn, uh, uh, price for some alcohol. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like I said, I have told y'all before, I am a cheap ass. Uh, if, um, if y'all have not heard me call myself a cheap ass, or if you have not have, you know, heard my rant about me being cheap, 
I can squeeze a booger out of Lincoln's nose. Uh, when I release $1 bills uh, from my wallet, typically I get a little piece of George Washington's wig on my thumb. Uh, I'm tight as hell on a dollar. So, you know, just paying for something like that is uh, it's crazy to me. But you know what? You do it just to hang out with your friends, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah, hey, shout out to uh, anybody uh, watching this that live in the uh, Denver, Colorado area. Uh, if y'all do not mind telling me where I could party with the best drink specials, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, it would be really nice. Oh, and uh, by the way, um, so me and my buddies, we took a fucking Uber car uh, to wherever I was going. And, you know, nothing against uh, Uber, but we took an Uber uh, to the club and we took a taxi back. The Uber was about 40 fucking dollars. Um, the same distance as the taxi was about nine dollars. Uh, I don't think I'll be calling Uber again. Because that shit was ridiculous. Like, how the hell is you going to charge somebody 40 motherfucking dollars for a car ride? Like, that was, that was a little... That was a little out there, man. I never thought that transportation would cost that much. You know what I'm saying? I will, from now on, I will be strictly a uh, strictly a taxi man, man. Because uh, Uber, uh, Uber ain't doing it for me, man. Not at those prices, man. So, yeah. All right. Um, what else? Well, guys, I uh, just wanted to share a little bit about my club experience. Just because, you know, I like sharing, man. I'm a social butterfly doing my social media thing. But uh, all right, guys, uh, if you're not riding, start riding. And if you are riding, keep riding. <laughs>